another video. It has been forever. But today I have for you guys the BAL 27 from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So without further ado, let's check out this awesome creation. I am finally back. So the reason I took this giant break was because, well, YouTube was causing a lot of unnecessary stress. And it wasn't really helping with anything, so I decided to take this break. I was going to take it for only a week at first, but I kind of, you know, procrastination got me. So, yeah, I took a, a pretty much a month-long break. But, of course, I have the responsibility to run this channel. So here I am with the newest creation, the BAL-27 from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, this gun holds 30 rounds. And does 24 to 34 max damage. Um, I believe it fires at 600 rounds per minute, which eventually speeds up speeds up due to its ability, like the special perk of the gun. <clears throat> now, little details, as you can see, you've got the grip. Now, the net brick I used here is actually supposed to be white tape wrapped around the handle, but I used a net. And as you can see, the back there's a Technic uh, brick there holding it in place. The working trigger, as you can see here, it actually clicks, so I'll, I'll try to be quiet. And if I don't pull it all the way, it won't actually do that click, so... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you've got the working ambidextrous charging handle. The shell ejection port right here. The bolt catch. The little green dial that moves. I don't know what it's for, though, but... Um, if you play the game, you'll know. You'll see the green dial thing going up and down. Um, now, this gun was mostly focusing on details instead of functionality. Even though it has most of the functions, um, the functions aren't too, too realistic to the gun. So, you know, you've got these vents on the side. Now, this is all on the actual gun. The white the dot thing, which I'm guessing it's supposed to be a fire selector. As you can see, you've got the magazine, which... Works just like in game. You've got this little thing that pops up when you uh, push this button here, and then of course you can load this bullpup bullet magazine clip thing. The stock it doesn't actually move unfortunately because well as you can see here, there's not really much room to work with, especially if I wanted to add this little indent here. Um, some gray. Now I really love the color scheme for this gun. Now I know in game that like this entire top slanted part is supposed to be dark gray. Or at least from the picture, that's what it looks like. But I wanted to give it a more sleeker look, which I actually love. And also, I have more black pieces. But, yeah, I really love how this turned out. Definitely looks very futuristic. Um, I experimented a lot with uh, width for this gun. Most of it is four studs wide, but of course, you've got these two stud wide areas all throughout the gun to give it that 3D feel. The barrels. And everything about this gun is just... I love it. Here's a look down the iron sights. They're pretty game accurate. Um, I'm going to try to get this closer, so I'll be right back. Here's a look down the iron sights. I just kind of quickly created a little stand for my camera to attach onto uh, the uh, thing. So, yep, here it is. You can walk around with it, um, aim at some things, and shoot. And, of course, it's just like the real in-game uh, sights. That's basically it. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time in another video.